community feedback. Hey Felix. So after your episode of Pseudo Sergeant that came out talking about all of the different Linux distros, we had a lot of people commenting about what their preferred Linux distro is. What's on everyone's mind is what is your favorite Linux distro and why? Okay, so I don't have any favorites, but I have um, one preferred operating system, one distribution, which is a collection of software um, assimilated into a suite and the particular distribution that I tend to prefer to um, spend my time with is Arch Linux. Why is that? Why do you, what about Arch Linux do you prefer? I like Arch Linux because it has a minimalist approach. Okay. And in order to get it set up and built the way that I would like it to be, mm -hmm. um, I have to do everything. Everything except compile. The, the, like the next level of um, challenge with uh, a distribution would be Linux from source, where everything has to be compiled. However, with the Arch Linux distribution, there is a um, repository where there is already a bunch of pre-compiled software that I can, like most distributions. However, quite frequently, I'll have to do additional configuration after it's downloaded so and installed. Basically, you like Arch because you can and have to set up and customize pretty much every feature. Mm -hmm. Uh, are there other Linux distros that you tried before Arch? Before you found your favorite, was there one that you tried, or were there any that you tried? Okay, I'll, I'll tell you the path that I took okay. to Linux hood. What you got? I installed Ubuntu, mm -hmm. but I didn't, I didn't get it, and I was like, forget this. That what, doesn't count. What about Ubuntu didn't you like? <clears throat> From first glance, you didn't like Ubuntu. What didn't you like about it? I didn't understand it at all, and I was used to like Windows uh, XP at okay. the time. So, yeah, so then what happened? Oh yeah, Windows Vista was released and I said I can't take it anymore. And I got a install disk of OpenSUSE on, I just wanted to try it. And I installed it on this really old computer. I don't even know, it was like super old. And it was awesome. Okay. And the thing, the big difference between OpenSUSE and Ubuntu was the default desktop environment. Okay. The uh, default desktop environment for OpenSUSE was uh, KDE, which is a cool desktop environment. And for Ubuntu, it was GNOME, which is G-N-O-M-E, or GNOME, or GNOME, or however somebody else wants to say it. Um, GNOME uh, has kind of like a different feel, and KDE was more like XP. So it was, okay. it was kind of more familiar. familiar. Yeah. And so I cut my teeth on that for a few years, and I said, well, I'm going to try Ubuntu again. I tried Ubuntu for a few years, and then Ubuntu started um, Canonical, which is the company that manages Ubuntu, started pushing out all kinds of really strange and bizarre updates that I just didn't like. And uh, for a while there, I oh, well, then I, I went back. To, I went to Debian. I tried Debian for about a year, and then I tried uh, Fedora for about a year. I got a buddy who's like he's been in Fedora since like I don't know the dark ages. I, I tried Windows for a little bit, and just like I felt so constricted. Then I tried going back to Ubuntu, but Ubuntu just like left me feeling abandoned. And uh, I was searching around a bunch of different distributions, and I found Arch. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh man, this, I should have started with Arch. Did it feel like home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt I felt like I had an operating system again. And I've used Arch ever since. Here's one thing, like I used to be an evangelist. Oh, you gotta use Linux or whatever. But I mean, honestly, that's kind of dumb. If somebody needs Windows for something, then use Windows. If somebody wants to use Ubuntu for something, then use Ubuntu. I, you know, somebody wants to use Mac, then use Mac. Yeah. You know, it's an operating system, it does the things you want it to do, there you go. If you have any more questions about Linux or Linux distros for Felix, remember to post those on the Element 14 community on element14.com. We'll see you next time.